Here today with Simon Mosca, who's a Montreal stand-up comedian. He contacted me through an interesting method, through Facebook tagging. Yes. Great way to learn about the show. Great way to stalk people also. That's right, yeah. I was, I was actually spamming another comedian's event, and well, it turned out well for both of us. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've seen a couple of your videos online, and yeah. one of them that really caught my eye was uh, The Drunken Adventure. Yeah, his, uh, his name is uh, Hank Tyler, and uh, he's kind of like, uh, you know, people watch Survivor Man, with, uh, or like with Bear Grylls, and it's these people that are in the wild, and yeah. they, they teach regular guys how to survive, you know? And then I got the idea of, like, of Hank Tyler, uh, like, he doesn't know anything, you know, but he thinks he's uh, a survival expert, but he's out there and he doesn't know what he's doing, and... He's, you know, he's drunk, and uh, his brother, Jared, he's a little bit slow, you know, and he's uh, the filmmaker, and he films, and it's just a guy who, he's clueless, really, but he thinks he's a genius when it comes to outdoor stuff. So he's kind of like an expert in his own mind? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Huh, what sort of adventures does he get into, and do you have any, like, planned episodes coming up you can give us a hint about? Uh, he, he goes all over the world. He, he was in Alaska, and trying to teach people how to make an SOS signal. He was in Malaysia and uh, trying to, to find a, a cougar so he, he could fight it. But he forgot to bring his chapstick, so he couldn't, you know? Because mm. every survival expert needs his chapstick. Especially when they're drunk. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Huh. And uh, it seems like you're having a lot of fun with this stuff. Yeah. How long have you been doing stand-up and things like this? I've been doing stand-up for uh, over a year. I graduated from the Joey Elias uh, School of Comedy, which was a blast, and everyone in that class was just hilarious. And so I've been doing uh, gigs uh, ever since, and it's cool. fun. Yeah, there's a lot of really neat nights around around town. Yeah, um, I've just recently been going to a few myself, but it's amazing how many different comedy events there are every night in French and English. Yeah, it's a cool city right now to, to do comedy, and there's a lot of independent small shows as well as the, the major ones, and it's uh, it's a blast. I know. I have a clip of you from uh, Paul Ash and Dan Dirksen's No Damn Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get Paul on the show. He said he'd come. Paul, you better come. Yeah, you've heard it. This guy's yeah. wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, I know Hank Tyler, the Drunken Adventure, and uh, he's dangerous. <laughs> well, here's a clip of so here's a clip of you at the uh, No Damn Good Comedy Show, which is the last Sunday of every month. Here's the clip. She even signed the restraining order. Oh, she's adorable. And uh, I try to impress her every night. I go in there and I buy Magnum Extra Large condoms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, I just store them in my, so in my apartment in cupboards and closets. My roommate thinks I'm a freak. And uh, it's going to be awkward uh, when I finally start dating her, which is soon, I'm sure. Jesus. She... Some pretty good stuff right there. Um, I noticed there was someone in front of the camera. Yeah, I think that's the, the best part of the, of the clip is uh, the, the ass blocking uh, the view and then the guy going, Jesus. <laughs> it's just... Kind of three-level comedy there. You got the yeah. physical, the camera side of it, and then on stage. All yeah. three adding up to, you know, create a pretty big punch. Yeah, so you got to go on, on YouTube and watch it three times so you can get, you can focus on one thing at a time. I actually did watch it three times. <laughs> I was focusing on the body language. I think her name's Natasha. Yeah, Natasha. Yeah. Watching her body language freak out. Yeah. You on stage just completely ignoring the whole thing and the yeah. cameraman getting, like, very angry. Yeah, what people don't know uh, that don't do stand-up is those lights are uh, are extremely hot and... And you, you can't see anything in the audience, really, unless you, like, stop and focus. All you see is b blinding lights, and it's, uh, the first time I did comedy, that was the first thing I noticed, was, mm -hmm. wow, those lights are intense, and I was sweating, and uh, it was actually very scary. So, <laughs> somewhat like the bright lights here at the Blue and White Garage, yeah, I yeah. would say. Yeah, this is a big production here. People don't see, but there's so many staff members. There's a sound guy, and it's, uh, it's the gaffer over there. The audience. We're yeah, trying the to keep them quiet. quiet. Yeah. Yeah, just because yeah. the, garage, the garage district, we're having some noise problems. Yeah. New regulations coming into effect around this neighborhood, so people have to be quiet, even on talk shows. Yeah, even on this show, and, you know, they want a standing ovations, but you got to keep quiet, everyone, please. Yeah, we got that. We're getting the neon signs. Instead of saying applause, they say shh. Yeah. But they won't even, like, they won't say it. They'll just blank it repeatedly. Yeah. If that's cool, I don't know. <laughs> Because uh, thanks a lot, guys, for being so quiet. Mm. What's uh, what are your plans, upcoming plans for uh, new online projects or more stand-up? Do you have anything on the on the go? Uh, there's a lot of different uh, types of videos. I do one uh, one type of video. It's called Simon Moscow Waste Your Time, and a lot of uh, YouTube videos are just a complete waste of time. But I come out there and I, I do it openly, and I say this is a waste of time, and I'm just there like reading the paper or 
uh, pointing at something and it's a waste of time but at least I'm open about it you know this channel that we're actually broadcasting on is uh, loaded with those videos by the way oh cool. this hopefully isn't one of them <laughs> we're aiming for uh, the not waste of time end of the scale yeah but uh, it's, it's fun just to get stuff out there yeah because yeah. you never know what might catch yeah you know what I need though I need a cat because YouTube videos with cats are uh, you know thousands of hits and I should get a cat if you could, if you could Combine like booty, sexy dance, yeah. uh, cleavage, cute cat. Yeah, you'd have a winner. Bieber, that's that's Bieber's it. hot right now. I think. Yeah, it's like some sort of what is it, like a animal, it's like a beaver, but it's like a fuzzy beaver. Or something? I, don't I don't know. know. It has weird hair going on, and yeah, there's a Bieber fever, which is not a good excuse to miss work. I found out the hard way. I okay. I call. I, I can't come in today. I have Bieber fever. And they said that's not an ex a good excuse. I mean, it's not an actual WebMD. Doesn't classify that as an actual illness yet. No, I got a written warning, and it's uh, it's. I apologize for that. So you're the second comedian to appear on the show, and the second to be wearing a leather jacket. I noticed yeah, a trend it's, here. It's a. Uh, if you want to be a stand-up comic, you have to have a leather jacket. Yeah. It's yeah. Part of like the code. Yeah. And is it the union that requires this? Or? Yeah, it's a requirement. You have to have. You have to have one. Like before you go on stage, they're just sitting there with a clipboard and. No, sorry. Yeah, and the audience knows that too, so if you're not that funny, they'll say, well, at least he has a leather jacket, so uh, okay. we'll, we'll politely clap. And, yeah. yeah, it's always it's nice to applause people in leather jackets, except here on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it, uh, youtube.com slash Renegade uh, Radio FM. Yeah. I also have a Twitter, if, uh, you know, Twitter, uh, uh, my name is uh, This Simon Mosca. So you can check out my Twitter, I tweet, which yep. is weird. It's, it's a weird thing to do. Like, if people don't know what Twitter is, you know, like uh, my grandparents and they just hear this stuff like I, I was Googling and I was tweeting and they're like, too much information. You know? Doing so, a lot of things. Yeah. Do you have a mobile device that you uh, tweet from? No, I do it old fashioned. Okay. On my PC. On, on the internet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, mobile Twittering, it seems like people, that's something I've never gotten into. I don't have a mobile device. I go at home and you get into it, but at cafes saying like, I'm at this cafe. Yeah. Um, I can't believe anyone would actually want to know that. Yeah, then they give you a, a link and you click on the link and it's a map of, of that where cafe. It's, if you're a stalker, Twitter is the best website. Yeah, but it seems like you'd always be like a few steps behind the person. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And they, it could easily you could throw people off the trail too. Like, yeah, I'm at a coffee shop, but you could be at like, I don't know, a tea house. Yeah, you could really mess them up bad. Yeah, stop watching videos of cats and start watching really entertaining videos. I would like to speak on behalf of the Blue and White Garage. Thank you very much, Sama Mosca, for coming into the show. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here, and hopefully this turns into one of those videos that um, people do want to watch. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, That's the plan. Tell your friends.